Hi, it's Ryan and Colin from Rockfiend, and we're here with almost all of East Temple Avenue. We've got Robbie LeBlanc, vocals, Dennis Butabi, bass, Philip Lenstrand, lead guitar, and no Darren Phillips, who's obviously the founding member, rhythm guitar, just not here. How's the rest of you guys? I think he must be sleeping. He is sleeping, but that's not an excuse, is it? No. no, no. He'll be probably sleeping, but hey. <laughs> How are you doing, doing good, today, man? How are you doing good, guys? At long last, we get to speak properly. Yeah, we've yeah. been sitting here for seven hours waiting for you guys. <laughs> yeah, at least you've been drinking it's for seven hours. Difference. It's just crazy. You know, it's just, it, it, it can't get any worse. It can't get any worse. So where did you guys meet? You know, how did East Temple Avenue come, come about? Well, we've never met. <laughs> oh, yeah, obviously. We, 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 <laughs> we have actually met with the, the three of us, though. Yes. Uh, yeah. But, but Darren and, uh, and Dan Skeed, we never met in person. Mm -hmm. True. Yeah, because yeah, they better not to meet them. That's because they're in all, isn't it? They're in all <laughs> anyway, so it's a bit far. Yeah. Yeah. You're always sleeping, so we can. <laughs> <laughs> so, why did you choose to do a band with members all over the world that would be very, very difficult to, you know, just get a hold of like that? You tried to phone Darren a couple of minutes ago, but obviously yep. it didn't work because he's sleeping. Well, I think it originates back to um, actually to Australia to Darren and Dan and when they uh, created the. Darren Phillips project yeah. um, and um, Phil and uh, Robert was uh, you were among the first guys I think they collaborated with and uh, on, on the first Darren Phillips uh, album uh, which was more of a soul project from those guys and uh, uh, after uh, the release of their first album they wanted to create a, a new album with a more uh, proper form band so they reached out to different people who worked with them on, on the project. Ro uh, Robert on the vocals, Philip on the guitar, and myself on the bass. Herman uh, Furin from uh, Work of Art on the drums. And uh, that's kind of how it... So it evolved from the Darren Phillips project into East Temple Avenue. That's kind of how it worked out. We're, weren't we like all of us in East Temple Avenue? Weren't, weren't we like playing on... I think we played on Heartbreaker on the Darren Phillips. Uh, um, I think that was the song that had all of the members of Robbie, the Robbie, did you uh, backing vocals? Yeah, we did. We're backing. On backing vocals. That's right. Yeah. Backing. Yeah. yeah, okay. So that's about it. That's where it all started. Heartbreaker on the Darren Phillips Project, Volume 1. Check it out, guys. <laughs> Great tune. <laughs> it's almost like all the time between Darren Phillips Project and East Temple Avenue. It's kind of one and the same, and obviously there's slightly different artists. Yeah. But it kind of crosses the line a lot of the time anyway, isn't it? Yeah, that, pro that, that particular song actually crosses the line because uh, uh, on the other songs on, uh, on the Darren Phillips project, there's uh, another singer, another bass player, another drummer on some tracks, but uh, that, that particular song uh, uh, makes it all tied together. Hmm. Yeah, and then obviously recently he's had Rob Wilde doing a couple of tracks for Darren Phillips project, so it's like, you know, yeah, both different he sometimes. Yeah, be, be, because all of us have uh, different contacts in the in the business, and Rob is a good friend of mine, and I brought him into the project, and uh, I, I know Phil and Robert has been friends since uh, since the Find Me days, uh, so uh, th that's how it all, um, you know, it, it spreads like a, a whirlpool. Uh, and, and and with the East Temple Avenue thing as well, it's something that I. I think though, and you can and you can correct me if this is how you've heard the story, Robbie. Uh, but when Darren and Dan had written the song, I believe, on the Darren Phillips Project album, I believe, uh, pun intended, that <laughs> he meant hey, I know that he meant to pitch that song to find me. Yes. He did. Yeah, because that's the thing that he meant to pitch that, uh, and I actually think that he pitched that song to find me, but right. but the label wasn't down with it, and right. uh, but then if if Dar if you volunteered or if Darren asked you, I don't know uh, mm -hmm. if if you wanted to do the vocals either way, uh, and then later on uh, Darren asked me if I was willing to like contribute with some backing vocals. Yep. So I think that's actually how the whole Darren Phillips 
thing kind of like went off the ground. Yeah, at, least with you, at least with you and me included, though. Yep. Mm -hmm. So it's your fault, Philip. Yeah. It's our first fault. It's, yeah. it's, it's Robert. Robert. Robert's the star. You brought me in. Yeah, I brought him in. Yeah. And anyone that brings Britabi in. Must be uh, uh Yeah. You never yeah. go back. Yeah. Must be up for trouble, you know. Yeah. Now, the, the album's out next month. Yep. Uh, we got one of the first listens to it, uh, done a review of it, loving it. You know, really, Thank really well. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Uh, <laughs> it's, just, you know, it's my style through and through. I just love that sort of style of music. Mm -hmm. um, How is it going down with, you know, the public or the people that have heard it so far? Um, it's still pretty good, right, guys? I, I, I see a lot of nice co comments on the new little single that that we've got out there. You know, the video, or whatever. And then we're gonna we we've got another video that that's gonna come out. What I I think the day of the release is that how it's going? Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, nice ballad. Um, yeah, the these two are the slower ones on the album, right? You, you know, yeah. there's a yeah yeah. So these the, these last two are the ballads, um, but uh, yeah, I I, th I I've gotten a lot of nice. Com comments about you know the you know the uh, rhythm section like the guitars you know everybody you know is loving the melodies and vocals so it, it's been thank god yeah you know, we just have to get it out there like to everyone that we can right you know we just got to spread the word you know that's yeah. it you're, yeah. you're good enough to allow rock fiend to put the first two videos out uh yeah. as exclusives and you know we really appreciate that uh you know it's just something that you know it, it feels good you know, yeah. when a band allows us to to do that sort of thing, and uh, you know, I just I really enjoyed the, the first two singles as well. Obviously, yeah. the third one's just been released. Was that yesterday? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so you know, it, it's going well. I notice it's just yourself that's in the video, Robbie. Uh, for that little uh, acoustic little thing we did, yeah. You know, um, what had happened was Danny Skeed wrote the song "Wonderful," right, guys? Yep, that's right. Here we go. Yep. Yeah, and then, you know, what happened was, um, you know, really cool tune. It kind of bordered on, like, sort of like the country kind of pop rock thing. It was a really, really nice tune, but I guess he had a shot to get it with some pretty famous Australian guy, and so the song was pulled at the last minute, and Darren said, hey, you, you know, we need a song, you know, and um, and I, I always fancy, uh, you know, ending like the you know, a, a good rock record with a, like a, a, just a really quiet tune, you know, like Toto Hydra, you know, great, great, great record. And then the end of Hydra on side two is a secret love, you know, more than a secret love. Great, great song, right? So I said, ah, shit. So da Darren had some words, you know, and, um, and I just went upstairs, you know, and fooled around acoustically and then wrote some other words. And just that song came out pretty quick, but it's just an acoustic little thing, you know? Yeah. It's getting views up on YouTube, though. The, the views are definitely going up every day. Oh, yeah. good. Thank yeah. God. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's always such an anticlimactic thing when the views go down. <laughs> <laughs> That's happened before. <laughs> oh, yeah. Story of my life. Story of my life. Me too. <laughs> the, the video for When I'm With You, I thought it, it was really good. You looked like you were really having a lot of fun. Uh, obviously oh, yeah. recording it in your own home counties and you know and doing that it looks really good but also the track it just it just put me straight back to 1986 87 and just you know i could watch so many movies with that <laughs> track in the background you know it was just perfect you know i, I just you know I, I just love it you know it's, it's my thank you my genre yet again uh, Ryan, his taste in music is just a bit dodgy sometimes, you know, but you can't help that. You're on. <laughs> you know, mate, as usual, we, we're not trying to invent the wheel here. It's uh, just uh, doing what we think is uh, a lot of fun, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, if you invented the wheel, you would definitely have seven sides on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. The, one for everything. <laughs> Now, if you've got any plans, obviously we can't do nothing just now with lockdown. But if you've got any plans to get together and you know do a show, <laughs> it might be funny at the moment. Touring is an idea. 
Yeah. <laughs> right. Not a lot of like competition and stuff like that nowadays. <laughs> no, the, 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 hard, the, hard, the hard thing for us, we're not we're not coping with uh with a singer in the U.S. only because we have two dudes sleeping in Australia as well. You know? yeah. <laughs> so uh, we're physically on three different continents in the world. And I mean, Robert is like six hours from us now and Darren and Dan are eight hours the other way. So uh, that's what we're coping with. But I mean, w w what it all comes down to is if someone, if any promoter or anyone is able to to get us over anywhere i mean we we're gonna be there it's oh, gonna take him. it's gonna take time it's gonna take it take uh, some uh, logistics and, and, and everything but if the, if the circumstances are right i mean all six of us are gonna be there so yeah and, and, and all of us have our have our uh, other projects i mean we're, we're we're busy guys in the music industry and uh, yeah, well, if you want to tell some people that are watching this, you know, what else you're in, obviously, you've got Crush, you've got Fountain, you know, tell everybody who you're in, what you do. Um, <laughs> I start. Uh, okay, I have this, uh, you know, uh, tuba. I have a tuba metal band <laughs> in my hometown. I love that. I, I played the flute in that one as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice. You're always playing yeah. the flute, Philip. Yeah, with my butt. Every now and then we call Robbie and he, he sent some congas. Yeah. Uh, he played in Connecticut. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, for real. Uh, I, I, Is this I, the I, sort I, of interview that happens when you've been drinking for seven hours waiting on this interview happening? No, no, no. We're actually, we're actually hungover right now. So, uh, <laughs> have, you seen my new, have you seen my new bass guitar? Oh, it's a bass guitar. Yeah. Is it? yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. So, we got plenty of It's like deja vu. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we seem to have done this before. Yeah. Uh, for real. Okay, so I'm going to introduce Philip. Uh, oh, he, he's actually the singer of a really cool band, a Swedish band, Arcado. Oh, yeah. They released a, an album uh, like uh, this year or last yeah, yeah, in, in March, I think. March. Yeah. yeah. And, he, and he used to, to guest my band, Crush, uh, as a session as a live singer. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and he's done uh, a Robert, pretty good job of it. <laughs> Iron Man, you done a bloody good job. Oh, <laughs> thank you, man. I'll 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 wire you the money later tonight. Thank you. <laughs> Just We're keep the same last thing. It's fine. <laughs> oh man, I appreciate you saying that though. Yeah. I mean, you know, uh, Robbie, he he actually ha have like uh, three albums out this year, right, mate? Two, three? two, three. Um, yeah, I'm working on. Let's see. So we got this one, which is great, and then. I did a solo record for Escape Records out in London, so um, that will be coming out, I think, in January. It was supposed to come out in November, but um, you know, it's just too much, right? So, so we're going to put it out in January. And then we just got word that we're going to do another Find Me album. So Daniel Flores, um, I think, is going to do it again. So we're going to have a fourth Find Me record starting. So with the help of God, that'll come out good. Um, and... Uh, and then I, I did this little thing called Cannonballs, right? Yeah, I, I always forget about Cannonballs because it was done so long ago. But that that was a fun one. Um, that came out on Melodic Rock Records. It had um, Doug Wimbish from Living Color on bass, which is a great big, uh, bass player. Um, my, my buddy Vince DiCola uh, played, played all the keyboards, and we uh, wrote a lot of tunes together on that record. Um, Jonathan Mover on the drums, and my buddy Alan Friedman on all the guitars. So... Yeah, we cut that in Los Angeles at the Steakhouse. Yeah, you know, a lot of fun. That, that was a fun one. The Cannibals That's record. Dream team, yeah, I mean, yeah, the rhythm section, right? It, yeah, it, yeah. You know, of course, Vince is, I mean, Vince DeCola, you know, yeah, I mean, yeah. he's like a, you know, wizard, man, wizard. I listened the hell out of the Vivid album with Lynn yes. I that love great album. that record. Damn, that's a good, oof. So it's fun to work with those guys. I, I, it was very honored, you know. It, yeah. it, was, it was cool. You're, you're That's about, about it. Vivid Philip, obviously yeah. an album that you listen to lots. What did you What did you listen to growing up, Robbie? Me? Oh, wow. Um, so my first sort of thing. I'm showing my age here, so I'm I'm taking a lot of chances. Uh -huh. first, mention the Chinese flu. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah, the Hong Kong flu, right? Oh, um, yeah. Yes. Um, <laughs> Yeah, my dad, 
brought in a record by a guy named Trini Lopez, who actually just died this year. Uh, Trini Lopez was this kind of um, Mexican <laughs> singer that did pop stuff. And that was 63, 64, the Beatles came in. Of course, the Beatles, you know, like McCartney was my favorite singer because he could change his voice and do all these kind of different voices, right? And then, so I, I thought that was spectacular. And then um, I'll, I'll never forget, man, I, I got a good report card, right? And, and my mom, she brought me down to this big department store, you know, for the White Album, right? So we go down the escalator, you know, and there's all the albums and there's the White Album. And it's $8.30, right? And she said to the guy, sir, sir, does this album, is there two records in here? You know, and, and, and the guy said, yes, man, there's two albums in there and all of them. So about a week later, uh, I'm running around the house going, why don't we do it in the road? You know, she's, she's freaking out, man, you know. She goes, what are you singing? What is that song, you know? Anyway, and then, so the Beatles and then um, Creedence, Clearwater Revival, Grand Funk Railroad, uh, the Doobie Brothers. Toto, Foreigner, you know, all that stuff, man. You know, it's crazy. It's the best. I just got a crazy idea here. You know what, Robert? We should do a cover of All My Lovin'. No, no. Beatles? No, no. Yeah. No, no. That's cool. We, we should. Uh, I'll miss you tomorrow. I'll kiss you. <laughs> I, I, no, no, no. No, no, no. I want to hear you sing, Oh, Darling. That, that is a Beatles cover. No. You know. Wow, Rory, that no. would be that would be good. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. Yep. Go. Oh, darling. <laughs> and that's it. I, just, I used to play that one. Oh yeah. Oh, I played that. I played the hell out of that one. <laughs> but Start like looking the original key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In A, right? You a. Give us a song, Rory. Yeah, I think it's in A. And if, a. and with, with the thing that you actually talked about with McCartney changing his voice, yeah. that is a perfect example of that one. One of us can. Yeah. So, are you going to give us a, a a song, Robbie? Sure. What do you want to hear? All my loving. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, let me break. Uh, break. Uh, my my acoustics right here. Hold. Hang on. Hang on. Perfect. Ours doesn't have any strings. Thank you, Patapi. <laughs> you, you can't give it driver questions there. Is that what you got to do a song? We wanted to do it with Robbie, but then we also thought that there would be latency, so we now. <laughs> right. <laughs> do it with Robbie, but we're shit. <laughs> I don't know, what, do you, what do you want to hear, you guys? He's taking requests. Um, <laughs> Go for it. No. Here, I, I, I'll play the new single. Right? Uh, just like yeah. a half version. Yeah. Right. Okay. <clears throat> oh, hang on. <laughs> I was in drop D. Tuning up the, tuning up the band. <laughs> okay, here we go. You always dream about the one who will take you by. Help you understand where love is. You never want for love more. Have a love worth dying for when you're standing on the shore. Where love is. Where love is is exactly where I am. Someone where love is will always be with you. Gray skies are always blue. Where love is, where love is. <laughs> that was Ryan's turn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah i'm um I, i'm too good for this i can't i can't you know i need to prep even more than that yeah 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 so, sounds like a plan right i have guitars i'm just too crap at it <laughs> we have guitars but no strings yeah yeah I'm just yeah all, all the gear no idea yeah that's, that's quite a good one that's quite yeah. a good one. standard uh so obviously you were saying you've got another single coming out 
before the album's released. Is that correct? That's right. Yeah. Yeah. And then is that going to be it? Four singles, album, done. I don't know. I actually think uh, we're going to put that one more single before the album release. That's right. So, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Where Love Is and uh, one more. Mm -hmm. and, and is that a video going to be recorded as well? Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah, we shot it um, a few weeks ago. So my, my buddy Greg Bizarro that, you know, shoots a lot of videos, you know, for uh, Jim Peterick and Dennis DeYoung and all those guys out in Chicago, he came, he's got some family in Philadelphia. So he came down because I'm pretty close to Philly and he came down. So we shot that little acoustic thing and then we shot another, so we shot the other video already as well. So that that's ready to go. I think Darren is putting that together. Are you got, got guys doing your bits in it too, Phil? Uh, Dennis, are you uh, doing bits in the new video? Uh, we haven't really talked about that, though. No. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I hopefully. So it's just going to be me all bo boring me standing there like Tom Jones oh, again. Oh, huh? we can't have that. <laughs> we can't have that. No, 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 no. no, no. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Ryan and nicely, we'll put something in. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely put something in. Right on. Yeah. Don't know what it'll be, but we'll definitely put something in. That's good. <laughs> so, really, anything else that you want to put to this uh, chat tonight, guys? Anything you want to get out there? Oh, Ryan would like to say something. Hey, who came up with the title, Both Sides of Midnight? And is it based around the fact you, you usually speak to each other, Both Sides of Midnight? Is that it? We're, all, we're always Both Sides of Midnight. Well, That's how we're wrong. Is that That's how the, the album title came around? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Simply, it, it, it's not more simple than that. Uh, that's how it is. I didn't think it would be. But I thought yeah. it was the case. So, uh, that, yeah, exactly. Good, exactly. You, you yeah. nailed it, Ryan. Some people are still sleeping the other side of midnight. Pathetic, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> right. Damn Aussies. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, talking to the other side of midnight, Batabi, you're a massive FM fan. Sorry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I actually I haven't thought about it. I actually think that the, we, the first uh, suggestion from Darren was the other side of midnight. But I, I instantly said, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's already out there, so we have to uh, modify it a little bit. So yeah. that's uh, both sides of midnight cool. came about. That's a cool title. I liked it. Yeah, we've had lots of chats about FM over the years, over the few years that we've known each other. Yeah, it's one, it's one of my absolutely uh, go-to bands. They're from Glasgow, like you, right? Uh, no, they're, Aren't they're, they? they're not from Glasgow, no, they're, they're an English band. Uh, oh, I, I think it's Strange Ways. Strange Ways are from Glasgow. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Glasgow. yeah. Uh, Colin, Col are you talking about Steve Overland? Yes. yes. Uh, that solo record I've got coming out in January, uh, Steve... Steve Overland wrote all the songs on it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, it, he, yeah. So it, it was wild because when I got, got all the demos, it's him singing on it, right? So I'm going, God, you know, how the hell am I going to sing better than this guy? You know, not better, but, you know, just like try to match what he's got or whatever. So it, it was hard, man. You know, but he, but we, I, I think we came up with a good record. He's a great guy. He, he was very, very um, supportive when I would send the tracks back over there. So yeah, you, you're looking forward to it. He, he was a beautiful yeah, dude. Steve's a, he was a great really, guy. Really Sweet good guy. guy. Yeah. Yep. We've worked with him very, very, very many times. You know, lots awesome. Of yeah. Uh, so Ryan, have you got anything else for this evening? <laughs> You've been listening to Ingve again? <laughs> Just fiddling. But and still can film a bit of a little bit. It's fine. <laughs> still, snapping snares tonight. Huh? Snapping snares. No snappy snares. No, no snappy. No pounding bass. No, no. I don't like that. So, you guys got a message for your fans out there, guys? I have. <laughs> Ryan has. <Yeah>. Just, <laughs> just thank you. Right, guys. You know, yeah, yeah. Just thank you, Freeman. Uh, that 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 there's an opportunity to record and to sing some great songs, and you know, work with um, you know Dennis and Phil and Darren and uh, Danny Skeet and all these guys and Herman. Uh, it was just the you know just a great 
very great grateful to still have the opportunity like to do something like that so that that's yeah so cool stuff. we also well, want to say thank you to the guy who invented the internet so we can do this yeah really thank you exactly. guy yeah. thank you guy who invented the internet yeah because i would never have met phil any other way no true true and the guy who invented Dropbox. Yeah. He's a good guy yes. too. Yeah. Yeah. And the, and the we transfer dude. He's yeah, also yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. Don't leave him out. Don't leave him out. No, but it, it's actually such a, a extremely cool thing that in 2020, we can actually sit on three different continents. And next to each other. And next to each other. It's course. also fun. Yeah. 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 But the corona distance and all yeah. that, right? We're including <laughs> everyone in this one. <laughs> no, but, but, but with the fact that we can actually sit on three different continents and record an absolute banger of a record that we all love. Yeah. And, and like we said, that all of us have never, ever been in the same room, all of us together. Yeah. And, and it's such a cool thing that that opportunity actually exists nowadays. Yeah. Despite the fact that Dan and Darren are always sleeping. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we, we, take full, we take full custody of this band, though. <laughs> right. On that note, guys, thank you very much this afternoon, this evening, and tonight. Tomorrow, and tomorrow. Uh, just, if it was and tomorrow, yeah. Tomorrow and tonight. Tomorrow and tonight. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. <laughs> and cut. <laughs> Thanks, Colin. Thanks, Ryan. Appreciate you Thank guys you. having us on.